Hey guys, how are you all doing? Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're all doing fine. So, before I would do a video, having a McDonald's and fill you in on everything. These, I've always sort of eaten the chips and made the french fries. When I decided to make a video, the way I talk, like this way. I think this is the hottest I've ever had McDonald's chips. So, I've quit my job. I don't have another job lined up, but I do have plans and ideas on what I want to do. You know what it is? I was on the sick last week with me back and um, I went back on Tuesday and while I was off I was like I'll just give it a couple of more months you'll be fine went back on Tuesday and I was like nah this isn't for me So Thursday I went in. By Thursday. I won't me notice out. And I was like, I already started to feel better. I did. And I cook. I handed, I told me manager that I was even. She was gutted. She went, I don't want you to leave. She went back home for it to stay either. Obviously, she knows what's happened over the past year in there. Um, and I, obviously, working for a big company. I didn't know, like, the protocol of writing out a notice for a big company. So I wrote the notice to the shift manager. And then, when chips are too, I got the new Sriracha wrap. So, in any way, I wrote the my notice to the shift manager. And he was on in a meeting at the time when I was talking to my manager. And then I seen that he was back on the floor. So when I went downstairs, he was going down the stairs to go somewhere else. And I like shouted of him. And I went, can I just give you that? And he went, where is it? And I didn't see nothing, I just handed him it. And he opened it up, he went, we're going to have a talk about my embassy at the minute. He went, right, he went, come and find a seat around. And obviously I, I went and found him later around. And do you know what it is? He went, I don't want you to leave, but I understand why you're leaving. He went, you will be a miss to the team. Because obviously I do a lot, but I'll get into more of that once I've officially left. Um, and the advice he gives us in regards to like me holiday pee and all that, he didn't have to do it, but he did do it, and I'm I'm grateful for for it for him, like regards to me holiday pee and what I've got left in that. Um, so. I swear to God, I thought that freaking seagull was coming to attack us. Let's get digged in. Let's have a try. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Nice. But yeah. I've got loads of plans, guys. I'm coming up to 43 year old, man. I want to start living my life. Do you know what I mean? It's like life is far too short to be depressed every time you go to work. The moment I handed him that letter, the sense of relief I had over it was just immense. was like, um, I immediately felt happy. And I haven't felt like that in months. I literally haven't felt like that. And I'm, I'm tearing up. But I really haven't felt like that in months. But no one I'm leaving. I'm happy. I am happy. Because I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm officially going to enjoy myself. You only live once. You only live once. I've just dropped the blue ship. That's the rest of the sauce. Pretty spicy. But yeah. You only live once. And by God, I'm gonna start freaking living my life. I'm gonna start living it. Cause you know what, these past couple of months, I've had so many health problems from anxiety to my stomach, my back. It's getting worse. I've, I've got a appointment at the hospital on next week for a scan from my back. And hopefully I get answers. I'm looking after me. I'm looking after me. I'm looking after number one. So I don't care what anybody says, but I'm looking after me. I am, and I'm going to bloody enjoy my life. So expect a lot of changes to happen on this channel because by God, I am going to put 100% into this channel. 100% in what I'm going to be doing in the future and I am not going to allow anybody to bring me down because I'll tell you something now with this I'm going to tell you something now if you want motivation in life do it just do it because only you only you can make that decision. Nobody else can make that decision, only you. Don't let anybody cloud your decision. Don't let, it, let anybody cloud your mind with, oh, well, listen, no, don't. Don't allow them. Because for years, I've allowed people to do that to me. No more. No more. And you know what? Obviously, I will miss some people in there. Everybody has been supportive of us in there. Everybody.
everybody has been supportive. And I'm, I'm over the moon with the support. Literally over the moon. And I'm grateful for it. I am. Mm -hmm. Time to start living. Six more shifts because I've got a holiday in between. It's I keep on having to see the people. They can't have me got six more shifts when they leave to this seat. I'm like, I've got a holiday in between. Had a book since last year. Because I've got Ludies to take as well. And that's the advice what my shift manager gives us. He went, because I wanted you to make, like, um, he wanted us, he wanted to make sure that I got everything that I deserved at the end on my pay slip. He went, so I'm giving you this bit of advice. I went, like, well, I went, she has that. That will do me. It's your hour. But yeah, I'm happy now, guys. If you want to do anything in life, bloody do it. Don't let anybody else cloud your decision. It's your life. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's a lesson you've learned. Do you know what I mean? It's literally a lesson you've learned. Nice car. I'm surprised I didn't hit the freaking button. And my son got his operation date. And do you know when he's having it? Next week. On my birthday. Do you know what? I don't care. As long as I know my son's gonna be healthy. That's the main thing. As long as he's gonna be healthy. That's all I'm bothered about. He can get back to his full health. Back to the way he was, going to the gym. Because at the minute he can't. Until he has this operation. I'm just, I just want him to have this operation and get out the other side. Mm -hmm. Them tips were nice, but until the end, that's where all the salt was. So that's my news. I've quit my job and I'm ready to live. I'm ready to rumble, taking on the world. Because 2023 is going to be my year. Because I would, everybody come. Are you actually leaving? I'm like, aye. Do you know what it is? All the good people are leaving. Take note, companies. All your best workers leave. And you're left with all the shit ones.
speaks volumes, doesn't it? Speaks volumes. So, guys, I'm going to get going. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you take a bit of inspiration from that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.